Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how personalized print-on-demand Shopify stores really work, especially in the back end, when it comes to getting those designs personalized. And this is really powerful. I'm gonna uncover the behind the scenes functions of these really popular personalized print-on-demand stores. And you see this all the time. Maybe it's something like a uh, print with your pet's face on it or your boyfriend's face on socks or all these different types of ways to personalize print-on-demand. It's a very powerful way to sell products on Shopify. You get to sell for higher prices because there's a much higher perceived value when you have a personalized product. But unfortunately, there is a lot more work involved. You know, you have to accept some type of upload from the customer. You then need to have an entire design process where your designer gets what's uploaded and starts designing it. Then you need to be able to showcase a proof. You need to have the customer approve the proof, right? And then you need to go and finalize it into print on demand. A lot of work involved, but it's definitely worthwhile because you can make a ton of money in this business model. And a really popular strategy right now for personalized print on demand stores is to use the approval studio integration app. This is going to set up everything that I was talking about. This is how these big stores build these personalized print on demand businesses where they have everything as automated as possible. They have the full approval process. They have the proofing. They have the files getting sent to the designer. They have the finals getting sent to the customer for approval, right? All this great stuff, all available inside of the approval studio integration app. It's by far the best option when it comes to running personalized print on demand. And if you've been trying to get into this business, or if you're interested in getting into this business, you know that there's a bunch of pain points that you might run into. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with print-on-demand. You need to use an app. That's why I'm going to show you this integration app that's going to allow for Approval Studio to really kind of work exactly with your brand. And the tool must be super easy to use, require no prior technological skill. I'll show you just how easy this is. You're going to be able to do it all inside of your Shopify admin. And uh, typically, if you want to even just allow for the customer to upload a file, and I'm not talking about a back end or the back and forth or the approval process or the proofing, just for the ability for a customer to, let's say, upload a photo of their pet, right? You typically need to install a completely different app. It's going to cost you some amount of money every single month just to get that upload feature. I'm going to show you how that's in, uh, included automatically with the app that I use. And most importantly, you need the app uh, to allow for the customer to quickly and easily give feedback without needing to do anything crazy. They don't need to create an account. They don't need to sign up. They don't need to log in. They're gonna be able to approve their design and allow you to get through with fulfilling the order as quickly as possible, right? That's the kind of big time drain when it comes to personalized print on demand, all the back and forth between the customer. This is gonna make it as easy as possible. And if you wanna do it the right way, you're gonna use Approval Studio integration. You see the link directly below this video. We're gonna go over the shoulder. I'll show you this in action. By far the best option for personalized print-on-demand, which is really the best way to do print-on-demand, the best business model online right now. And you see the link directly below this video. We'll go over the shoulder right now. You see the Approval Studio Integration app. Incredibly easy to use. And you can watch the video over here. Again, you see the link directly below this video. You uh, really basically are going to get a lot of different functions in here. You're going to get, first and foremost, the ability to format the uh, drag-and-drop uploader. So this is going to be where you see in this case we're selling a custom printed t-shirt, right? They could upload their, let's say their design or something like that right over here or a photo of their cat or a photo of whatever they want to be designed right over here, right? The idea is that once the order is taken place with print on demand, typically you don't need to do anything else. But with personalized print on demand, you obviously need to create the design. So what we have here is a list of projects. And this is what you're going to see inside the Approval Studio integration app. You're going to see this list of products. You're going to be able to literally see them linked to your orders over there in Shopify. You're going to see all this important things like project created date, task status, review status, fulfillment status. And you'll be able to upload this along the way while basically you see the different actions over here or tasks, reviewing assets, like what was uploaded, right? Uploading assets, uh, reviewing any type of requests, and then uploading a final, as well as having back and forth with the customer. You see that they could even provide feedback in terms of saying, hey, make the logo smaller or you know, uh, make it a white t-shirt instead of gray, right? All the ability to have that back and forth feedback all inside of this app. Really, really powerful because it integrates it all done for you really quickly, really easily. We'll go over the shoulder. You'll see exactly how I use this in a demo store. So very easy. It's going to literally cover all the processes for you. Not only just starting off the back and forth between the customer, getting them to approve it all the way off to fulfillment 
this is your kind of one-stop shop for running personalized print on demand. And all you need to do, press the install button over here, and this is gonna bring you back into Shopify. You'll be able to install this app. We'll go over the shoulder inside of my account and you'll see how this works. First, I'm gonna show you from the consumer standpoint, the customer standpoint. They come over here and they wanna order this customizable uh, snowboard. And we have the app installed over here. And you're gonna notice over here above the add to cart, above the buy it now, there's an upload file. And this is gonna be where the customer is allowed to upload their file. Let's say in this case, a picture or a design style or you know their pet, if this was a pet personalized store or really whatever you know the, the option for personalization is, the input comes here. And, Again, you might have to get a, a totally separate app, pay a totally separate monthly fee just to get this exact functionality, the upload file functionality. So I'll go ahead and select my style and I'm gonna go ahead and upload my file. You can click here to select or you could simply drag the file right over here. Okay, I've uploaded my file. It's a little picture of a cat that I want on my snowboard here. Now I'm gonna go ahead, add the product into my cart. And this is now just like any other product out there. We'll be able to order it over here but the uploaded file, you see that this is going to be now sent over and attached into this product. So this is your typical you know, uh, customer um, side of things. When they're ordering a personalized product, they're gonna go ahead and check out. They're gonna buy this product and they're gonna supply you know, whatever they're inputting, their picture of their cat, their picture of their snowboard style, whatever it is, right? Whatever the customization is, gets attached to this order. And that's normal, right? But what we need to do now is create the process for the customer to actually have the ability to review the design style, for the designer to get this file uh, you know, available to them so they can start the design and have everything in one place. So again, this order will be checked out. It'll be an order just like any other Shopify order. So this order was placed. You can see that there's an uploaded file over here. And I'm gonna show you what the customer sees, right? Of course, they get their order confirmation emails, your typical Shopify uh, order confirmation. But then they get the link over here to Approval Studio. And this is gonna be where they're able to, and they see their order number, right? It links directly to their Shopify order number. We see order uh, 1026 coming over here, and then they go into Approval Studio. And this is where the customer will be able to upload any type of additional assets, imagery, you know, uh, even, you know, potentially a PDF, you know, kind of anything that they're gonna be able to give that's gonna help our designer. So they'll come over here and uh, upload their assets, whether it's, you know, additional photos, or a high resolution or whatever it is, they're gonna upload directly to this project here. So again, I've uploaded the cat over here and basically this is a task you see and this is important because this is gonna allow us, the store owner, to track everything. So the first task that's happening is the customer is uploading any assets. They're gonna go over and complete this task. Okay, so now we as the store owner, right, we're gonna come back over here and I'll reload this page over here. You'll see that we're gonna have order 1026 in our store. We have any open orders over here that are in the approval or creation process. And you see we have 1026, you know, right over here. And uh, as I click into it, everything is going to look very familiar because this is now pulling in all the information. Of course, our order, page information, and our task list. And if we were to see any specific task, right, one out of two tasks completed, well, that's pretty easy because we have the uh, kind of ability to show the different tasks that are going on here. And we already know one is closed because the user had just completed it. Right, this was me just a couple of minutes ago, right? The customer was just completing this over here. So the customer did their job. Next task on the list, our designer will come now into here. They'll have, be able to access Approval Studio and they'll go ahead and create the design or create the project here. So they're given the assets they need. They can come back over here and now upload the asset. It will go back into the customer and we could even message internally to our designer. We could message externally, let's say to the customer to request them to upload additional assets if we need. Everything is self-contained inside of here. And if we were to go back over here into the list, we see different jobs over here. I'll show you some other ones. If we click in to the order, you see there's a bit of back and forth here in terms of the design assets uploaded right now we're in the review stage so you see that our designer received assets then uploaded assets here is the actual design which brings them to the next task of reviewing assets the customer will be prompted to review these you see pending review and hopefully they review it you know and they accept it won't need any revisions if they do they would ask for revisions and you know the designer would get back to work but if not they'd be able to finalize this and then get it sent off to printing and fulfillment if we were to come over here into settings you're going to see that if you have multiple stores over here, you could select your store inside here. Project owners as well, if you have different users inside of your team. We're going to have information from each customer 
being saved over here, contact, email, last name, first name. These are just fields that we're able to get from Shopify. And of course, because we have that direct integration. Here in the settings, you could set up to automatically create the internal upload asset task. These are the different asset tasks that you're gonna see in that task list. So you have full control over that. You can even set due dates and things like that. Basically, the idea is you have full control over how to set up this back end and how to kind of create this so it customizes to your own workflow. And the idea is to create that workflow, that automation, that back and forth between the customer to always keep them in the loop and have everything approved. You could even, of course, enable the file uploader. Like I said, that could be a separate app in itself right over here. You've got your plan set up over here. Really just depends on how many user licenses, how much usage or storage. Depends on the size of your uh, print on demand business. Coming over here, feel free to start with the pro plan. You could upgrade into the pro XL afterwards. You also get direct access to their support over here in the contact section. So that was approval studio integration. As you saw, incredibly easy to use, super powerful, and really will build that high end back end for your personalized print on demand business. You know, this is the exact right way to do it. And if you want to take this business seriously, you need to have approval studio integration installed in your Shopify store. See the link again directly below this video. I highly recommend it. Get it in your store, jump into personalized print on demand, and I hope this helps you make some money.